Advisory Committee is all set to meet uh, the BCCI in London for the selection for head coach of the Indian cricket team. According to sources, as of now, no applicants will be called for interviews. The meeting is expected to be convened by BCCI CEO Rahul Jory. The idea, we are being told, is to pick the brains of the three members of the Cricket Advisory Committee. Sachin Tendulkar, Saurav Ganguly and VVS Lakshman are already present in London. If needed, applicants could be called over Skype. That's what we're hearing right now. We're also being joined right, right now by my colleague uh, Aishwarya from the newsroom. Also with us is Ajay Mehra, a former cricketer. He joins us from Delhi. First to you, Aishwarya. Uh, this is what we're picking up right now, both uh, Lakshman, Tendulkar and of course also sort of Ganguly already in London right now. And we understand that no interviews will be called right away. What exactly is the rationale behind that? Well, exactly what is happening right now in London is that uh, CAC, which consists of the legend Saurabh Ganguly, uh, Sachin Tendulkar and VBS Lakshman uh, are, are meeting in London in closed doors to finalize the six shortlisted names of, uh, of the coaches, uh, which, uh, which, which will be there uh, in, in a short while. We will we'll be getting to know uh, that uh, which, name is, which name has a CAC shortlisted. And uh, this is the meeting by, uh, by BC, and this meeting will be convened by BCCI CEO Rahul Jory in London. And, uh, and what information we are getting it right now is that uh, in, in, a, in a meanwhile, in a, another half an hour, we'll get to uh, know that what, uh, what, what, what is the information we can pull out from this meeting right. itself. But uh, the, the names will not be revealed by these three CACs. All right, stay with us, Ashwarya. Ajay Mehra joining us now from Delhi. Ajay, uh, do you think this is a good idea? Currently, of course, uh, the protocol also would suggest that they would talk to Tendulkar, Ganguly, and very, very special Lakshman, all of whom are in uh, London right now. Rahul Jory will meet them, pick their brains. We did, in fact, break the story last week that it would be ultimately Sachin Tendulkar because he perhaps has the most clout there in that Troika. Ganguly, of course, not too far behind. Uh, but uh, is it a good idea not to call for interviews right away? Yeah, I think so. You know, probably they would be having a meeting, you know, a closed door meeting among themselves, exactly how to go forward from here on. And I'm sure, you know, even uh, Sachin would have had a word with Virat Kohli as well. You know, what he wants uh, uh, as far as the Indian coach is concerned. You know, there has been a lot of development uh, regarding the misunderstanding between uh, Anil Kumle and Virat Kohli. But overall, I think the captain here will have a big say, Virat Kohli, you know, because of course the team is doing well. And uh, probably they also want to see that if Anil Kumle could fit into the scheme of things. Of course, there are other contenders as well. The six uh, uh, coaches have been shortlisted. But I think before going to them, they want to have a meeting amongst themselves, exactly how to go forward, what is the right way forward. Ajay, uh, there's been so much said and written really about a foreign coach versus an Indian coach. The Indian, uh, the BCCI of course went for Anil Kumle. He was of course the best contender. But now the six probable names that are doing the rounds all of them have been successful coaches in their own right. Do you think the foreign slash homegrown coach will be an issue this time around? Yeah, they could be, you know, because, uh, you know, I just feel uh, there's always, always a talk as well, you know, that foreign coaches have come here, you know, apart from Gary Kirsten, they haven't really performed too well. Uh, it's all about gelling with the team, gelling with the players, understanding their language as well. So I, I feel, you know, if Anil Kumle isn't there, this is my call, that Varinda Sevag would be a, fo or, you know, a, a big name coming forward because, of course, you know, he's got a good rapport with Virat Kohli as well. Both belong to Delhi. They have played cricket together. So I think uh, uh, Virinda Sevag could be a man... Uh, you know, who could uh, take a fit in the shoes of Anil Kumble. But not to forget as well that, uh, you know, he just gave a two-line CV to the uh, CAC, to the, uh, uh, the team, uh, Sajin Tulka, VVS Lakshmi, Saurav Ganguly. So it all depends, you know, how they go about from here. But I feel, you know, Seva could be the fourth runner here, out here. All right, Seva could be a front runner if um, the CAC does plump for a homegrown talent. Uh, Ashwarya is still with us. Ashwarya, I know it's difficult right now to, get, to glean out the details since the meeting is just about to happen. Uh, Rahul Jory is going to meet the, the, the big three, as we, are, as we call them, of course, Lakshman, Tendulkar and Ganguly. Uh, is there any news, perhaps even speculation, of either Tendulkar or Ganguly or perhaps even Lakshman uh, uh, thinking along divergent lines on who to choose or is there some sort of uh, convergence as far as all three are concerned? 
absolutely as far as ajay uh, said that uh, uh, you know the six names that had been finalized and shortlisted uh, was uh, anil kumble virinder sehwag tom moody richard pibers lalchand rajput and duda ganesh uh, i would like to tell our viewers that last uh, week we have broke the story and that is uh, the finalized uh, uh, version that sachin tendulkar will have the final say amongst the cac and sachin tendulkar will uh, uh, will decide the fate of anil kumble that he will be retained in uh, re retained or he will be put out of the uh, of the uh, of the race for the coach um, his one year tenure after champions trophy is ending and that's why the bcci has called uh, the applications for new coaches and that has been shortlisted by cac uh, and and virender sehwag and anil kumble are in the top race right now what our sources are telling uh, within the bcci uh, but uh, but uh, the most probable chances are of anil kumble as per the record we can see uh, that 90% of his um his his uh, and uh, under his coaching team india has the win percentage and and that's the good record that we can see but uh, uh, but the mm. final decision will be of course of uh, sachin tendulkar um uh, the one of the one of the member of cac and 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 then uh, this name will be sent out to either bcci or or uh, coa and then and then the then the name will be decided but till the time it will be uh, a chance it will be chance for all of the six Uh, right. that are that are running for the race of course all right i should stay on with us uh, we're just opening our phone lines as well we can uh, in fact we will open our phone lines the numbers are flashing on your screens ladies and gentlemen if you want to comment on uh, the the way chosen by the bcci and the cac in in the pointing of coach you can call us right now the numbers flashing on your screens right now uh, we will put you on air the numbers are 0120436974 you can call on that number we'll put you on air we can also talk to our guest ajay mera who's still with us ajay uh, the fact that uh, all these six teams now at the cost of repeating myself right now all of them have had uh, success uh, at various teams really richard pibers coached pakistan for a while enjoyed some amount of success there as well uh, there are others i think apart from doda ganesh who hasn't really held a similar spot earlier he was of course he played for india for a bit uh and uh, then of course he, he he kind of disappeared uh, but apart from doda ganesh all of them are accomplished coaches with a good cv with a good uh, sort of record it's going to be slightly tough for the cac to actually recommend one person purely based on the record or the style of leadership am i wrong here No you absolutely right absolutely right on the dot there because you know the credentials have been very good you're right you know Goda Kanesh of course is played for India fast bowler but hasn't really coached a international team or done very well with the international team apart from him i think all of them have very good credentials they are down well at the international level as a coach so but probably you know the, my other perspective is of course you know Virendra Sehwag is going pretty strong he, he might be the front runner as well but my other perspective is that Anil Kumble you know as a coach i remember last year when india toured west indies he was out there for the first time along with virat kohli who was the captain of the side they gelled very well and you know as a coach he's done a very good job if in what happens if india wins the champions trophy you know what wrong he's done there could be always you know a misunderstanding or you know difference of opinion you know regarding two players uh, both of them are legendary players virat in his own right and kumble in his own right but that doesn't mean that he's done a bad job so why you know take him out of uh, the contention so i think you know of course i think he's also going to be a very important figure out here anil kumble uh, uh, sachin tendulkar is going to have a big say we all know that but i think anil kumble as well as a coach he's done a fantastic job all right anil kumble of course still the front runner let's not count him out just yet uh, he of course still has a chance of uh, retaining his current position he has done well as ashwarya was telling us right now more than 90% uh, a strike rate if you will a winning percentage of course he hasn't been coach for too long that also helps his case in getting his percentages up and that's uh, uh, simple mathematics ashwarya uh, any any clues or speculation as to which way tendulkar lakshman and ganguly might be heading because they've all played uh, at some point or the other with sehwag lalchand rajput has been associated with the indian cricket team in various positions not as head coach as well they know most of these people they've interacted with them have we gotten an inkling really which way they might lean or is it too early to say well it will be too early to say of course just because these are the early 
uh, early early interviews that uh, uh, that that the CAC will conduct. And I would like to tell our viewers that what currently is happening in London is that CAC is meeting today. Uh, the three legends of the game are meeting today to finalize the name. Of course, it will be in the closed doors and the name will not be revealed. The name will only be revealed after the Champions Trophy ends. Uh, but, uh, but, but talking about the six shortlisted candidates amongst uh, are, are Anil Kumble. Of course, we have seen his stats. We have seen his, uh, his coaching ability in the last one year. We have seen Virinder Sevag's coaching ability with Kings in Punjab. And what he has sent his CV is another news which came out in the morning morning that he has just in a two line cv which bcci has asked him to uh, to 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 uh, to to give the detailed cv as he had he just said that he is a mentor and coach for the kings eleven punjab uh, another name is tom moody he has also been uh, the former coach of uh, uh, of of Sri Lanka cricket team, uh, but uh, and and currently is with associated with Sunrisers Hyderabad an IPL team, and also had a close relationship with uh, uh, with with DVS Lakshman, of course, and uh, other team, other Indian team members. Lalchand Rajput was former Indian cricketer and also a, a former team manager. Dura Ganesh was uh, the Indian cricketer who played uh, among uh, four Test matches, and the ODI is a fast bowler, and and you know he has been also associated with the team, and and. Other other was Richard Pibers, the foreigner, and, and he has been the coach for Pakistan and Bangladesh in the meanwhile. So all of them are little experienced, but the top front runners for the coach is, of course, I can say that Anil Kumble and Virinder Sevag are the top runners for the hunt of coach. And uh, Sachin Tendulkar, as, uh, I was, uh, as I was earlier mentioning, will, be have, will have the final say amongst the coach selection. All right, uh, Ashwarya, of course, this is a very interesting story to track. Uh, more than a billion cricket fans will be waiting eagerly uh, to know who the next head coach of the Indian cricket team would be. Ajay Mehra, uh, clearly the BCCI or cricket administration in India, if I can call it that, is still in a transitional phase. We've seen, of course, off the field, there's so much that needs to be discussed or sorted out uh, really as well. And uh, especially after Ram Guha, uh, gave out that scathing letter, all those uh, worms, if you will, came flying out of the can. And we'll discuss that in just a bit, but we are getting callers right now. We'll take the first caller calling us right now. Go ahead, our caller. Hello. Yes, sir, Mr. go Khan, ahead. I think Virinder Swag will be the best choice because he had been an excellent player, all-rounder, and he will win the confidence of the team. I'm sure the selectors will give him a chance. Let him prove his worth. I think Virinder Swag will be the best choice. I will repeat again. All right. Rajpal there giving his vote clearly to Virinder Sehwag. He is a fan and a crowd favorite, Ajay Mehra. Sehwag would be a very popular choice of coach. I can't say if he will be the right choice, but he'll certainly be a very popular choice among the cricket-watching country like India. We all know that and they want you know coach to be aggressive as well you know probably Anil Kumle we I played with him Anil Kumle uh, you know he, he's not man of uh, too many words he's got his own uh, you know methodology or how to go about things but I feel you know uh, Sevag is a different uh, uh, you know player altogether we all know that he was very aggressive on the field and they want that aggressiveness in the team as well remember your captain Virat Kohli he's very, he's very aggressive as an individual as a leader as well so you know two aggressive people when they join together I don't know what will happen but of course you know uh, uh, Seva could be a different flavor as compared to Anil Kumble as a coach no absolutely if two aggressive people aggressive coach and a super ultra aggressive captain uh, it would be bad news for all the opposing teams that much I can uh, say with surety uh, two Delhi boys at the helm uh, then God help uh, the rest of the cricketing fraternity Ajay uh, but that of course I'm being slightly uh, jovial here and crack, trying to crack a joke at the expense really of other teams uh, but let's go back uh, to what we were discussing earlier and uh, Ashwarya uh, is still with us from the newsroom Ashwarya a lot of uh, interest really being shown because a lot of people also believe that Anil Kumble hasn't been given a long enough run he's been doing a good job it has hardly been a year since he's been coached and he's performed well as well and if India retained the champions trophy then the case for Kumble gets stronger no matter if there's a rift or not whether it's a rumor or not all that won't matter 
Well, absolutely. You know what's happening with Anil Gumble is right now is is he is uh, uh, he's he's coaching India for a very long time for for a one year. But uh, we have seen his record with the Indian cricket team. Uh, he's uh, and we have seen how uh, his ability to coach. He has done uh, 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 he has done uh, team bonding sessions that we have not seen earlier with uh, uh, with with other coaches. He has he has been roaming around with the team. He has been interacting with the new young players and his his. His, uh, his his idea of conceptualizing the coaching is uh, is is apparently different from other coaches, and his techniques uh, of of coaching are, are different from other coaches that we have seen in the last one year with the Indian cricket team, and that has also uh, 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 given a, a fair chance that that you know Virat Kohli as an as an aggressive captain with cool and calm minded coach Anil Kumble, uh, uh, this pair or uh, this pair can go ahead as uh, just because. Uh, uh, just because uh, not not just because of the calmness of Anil Kumble and the aggressiveness of Virat Kohli, but also the records on paper uh, that we have seen with the last one year under under uh, under coach Anil Kumble. Only one T20 series I remember in America that we have lost to West Indies. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we have done a decent uh, uh, decent uh, uh, you know uh, decent decent win uh, right. against all the teams. Other. Uh, stay on. Another caller calling in right now. Anshuman Mitra is our next caller. Go ahead, Anshuman. Yes, uh, I, I, I want to say that uh, Virendra Sarag is the best captain in the, in the Indian co best coach, will be the best coach because he is the very most talented person in the Indian cricket history after the Sachin Tendulkar. So he is the opener and can operate the Indian team with a very great expectation. Uh, this great ex expectation and experience. That All right. All right. Anshuman, I, 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 thank you for calling in. One more uh, fan vote, really, for Virinda Sehwag. No surprises there. Deepak from Pune is our next caller. Go ahead, Deepak. Yeah, hello. Yes. There is no need for any uh, manager or like you. You change the BCC, I let it go to the government. Okay, that's a fair point. Uh, you're saying changing the coach will not really matter unless the administration is cleaned up. Am I right? Yeah. All right. All right. Deepak makes a good point here. Thank you for calling in, Deepak. Ajay Mehra, you know, there are those who'd be excited by Sehwag or Viru coming in as coach. There are still those who love cricket, who love the Indian cricket team, who, who love all our superstars, all our players who perform, but they still believe changing a coach is not going to do anything unless cricket administration in the country in itself is cleaned up and there are many who believe it hasn't been cleaned up hasn't even started even after the court appointed committee started uh, making all the decisions uh, they are in the process you know they are doing the job uh, it will take time it's not an easy thing you know because we have multiple associations all around the country uh, you know implementing the loda uh, recommendations is not an easy job it will take time uh, I was hearing to Rahul Jory as well, the CEO, that he mentioned that it will take time. They are they're gradually coming on. But I think uh, the resignation of Bua, of course, that was a big setback as well. But the other committee members, of course, they are trying their best. But you, know, you have to understand, the, all the associations have their own rules. or They have the set of rules. Uh, the DDC as well, you know, now Justice Sen is out, uh, out there. He's trying his best to, uh, you know, have the proxy system uh, out of place. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a long-drawn process. It's not a very easy task. Of course, the Supreme Court has very rightly given the directions, but I think it will take its time. It's in due course, but we all, you know, as cricketers, as sportsmen, you know, as lovers of the game, we all want the cricket to be cleaned up, the administration to be cleaned up. Right, that's the hope that it will be, uh, hopefully soon. Also, uh, there are a lot of issues that uh, are still pending that need looking into. Uh, and there are a lot of roadblocks there as well, perhaps because of the way cricket has been run in this country for the past 30 years, perhaps uh, because of individuals, certain individuals who treated cricket administration like their fiefdom. I could go into the problems really, to, it would take me all day and all night to just list out the problems, so I won't do that. Let's just get back to the matter at hand here. Uh, clearly, Aishwarya, no favourites as of now, since there are no interviews will be called right now. It all depends on the meeting that's going to take place uh, very soon in London. Uh, any idea when that will start, when it will end, and how long after the meeting is over will we get an inkling of uh, how the CAC is thinking? 
Well, uh, well uh, Atar, I would like to tell our viewers what information currently I am getting from our correspondent Vinod Lamba who has been to London to cover the Champions Trophy uh, for us. And he is giving right now the uh, current information that uh, uh, the meeting is underway and uh, there are no chances probably of calling uh, the, uh, the, the, the shortlisted can candidate for the interview. But if required, they will be calling them through video conferencing right. if, if they wanted to ask any question to the shortlisted con candidates. So this is what uh, the inside information which we are getting us right now from London. And uh, uh, and, and I don't know what time it will be ending uh, or, or it will end soon just because it's, it's a closed door meeting. Uh, but this is what the information I can tell our viewers that uh, if required, the, the CAC will call all six shortlisted candidates uh, for, for the interview uh, via Skype or via video conferencing. All right, I should have stayed with us. We have two more callers, uh, one from Bangalore, one from Madhya Pradesh. Ashish is our next caller. Go ahead, Ashish. Yeah, thanks for this uh, opportunity. I think a uh, very important point here when Virat Kohli has made it very clear that there's no issues between him and, and Kumble, I think they're just dragging this entire topic. I think it's too early for us to call it out saying that there's a big issue between... Uh, yeah. Well, this, this should really for the Newsdesk was the first channel to break the story that there is no rift and it's a figment of somebody's imagination. So we are clear on that part. What we're discussing right now is the CAC choosing the next coach and no interviews being held right now. But thank you for, for calling in anyway. Uh, Love Kush is our next caller. Go ahead, Love Kush. Do we have Love Kush on the line? All right, we don't. Uh, we will, of course, wait for more callers if they do call us. And I don't think Love Kush is with us right now. But it's been an informative session, of course. Uh, Ashwarya has been giving us details and Ajay Mehra has been with us with the expert comments. Thank you, Ajay, uh, for joining us on the broadcast. And thank you, Ashwarya, uh, for all the details. We'll take a